Hi guys, this is Guys and Simon. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making a base like this. This cool base right here. So this is dried super light air dry clay. Um, this is not like typical clay that dries like rocks or really hardens. This one dries like foam which is usually used in cosplay and such. And this is gonna be our rock base. So this is a 60 millimeter cork, very thin cork coasters, pretty much it. Now I have set the formation of the rocks and now I am sticking it with hyro paints, plastic putty. I love this material, I really do. I should get more of this and I really highly recommend it if you guys are trying to stick on plastic or something like this. It's very very nice and it covers amazing scenes you might be wondering what is that black textured thing i'm mixing that is coffee grounds with black paint and a little bit of pva glue i figured out this technique from midminter winnie's where this is a good texture paste it really is and it's kind of like saving money because it's free and you know really recycling waste that just only goes to our drainage system or throwing out and i'm using it as a texture paste which is a good material. If you guys are one worried about molds, uh, the PVA glue and the paint will be the preservatives of this, so it's ne no mold problems. I've been using this technique for years. So I'm painting the entire thing with a black primer, so we will be getting down to airbrushing it with a zenithal. So just using a white and a gray paint from Hyro Paints as my zenithal highlight. Very straightforward. I would just think where the light is coming from and use the little effects to make a little rock formation. Now applying a green wash, just like pinpointing the places I want to put my flock in and for moss. And this block, by the way, I'm gonna use is very special. It's just putting PVA glue that I add a little bit water, that's it, as my adhesive for it. And this flock is, by the way, made by myself, a special flock that I'm gonna be selling available in my store a little soon, the Kaizen Flocking Flock, which is a what the flock amazing quality. So I really suggest you flocking get it, guys. It's an amazing flock. I am now painting the plants that I have put in. Uh, these are plastic plants that you find in any aquatic or pet store. They're very cheap. I just snip one, place it in with super glue, primed it, and just paint over it. They're really nice plants to put in in any base you do. Really highly recommend it. Now I'm using grass tufts, which is also available in my store for pre-order i have six colors available right now they're very easy to use they have already adhesives you're just gonna clock one with your tweezers or your hands and place one in your base very straightforward guys so this is the reveal of the amazing base so i just stick up a dried stem or root that i found in my garden heat it up sanitized it put it in a dehydrator and then tada look at that an amazing little diome of a base. So guys, thank you for watching. And that's pretty much it for the bases. Uh, this is an amazing little diorama that I made and I hope you guys learn from this uh, video. The materials in use in this video, I'll be linking it down below. I think when this video comes out, they're not available yet. They're on pre-order. The majority of the materials I use are my stuff i've been experimenting making my own terrain I'm gonna be making it accessible for you guys who likes making our own bases our own small dioramas for the hobby and i hope you guys should stay tuned about it so yeah this is kaizen someone thank you thank you thank you